Hello again. Picking right up from last week, I selected the office building where my studio is located for my final site. I went back and gathered the images I took from last week and then did another round of photographs, specifically hunting out the type. I looked on and behind doors, opened cabinets, and also tried to pay attention to type in plain sight. I converted everything to black and white and then began categorizing. I started with the subject you suggested, Martin, code requirements. Every sign here is required by law to be in or around a commercial building, even the non-smoking signs. There is nothing custom about this signage. Everything could be considered off the shelf. These are signs that don't change. Next, I began to take inventory of type that's been put up with tape. Its content tended to be more informal. Most of these signs, like the please hold down the handle and please close the door, have been here for years, while others, like the think you're alone, you're not, were added during the pandemic. These are signs that could very easily change, but historically are very rarely, if ever, taken down or replaced. Here, I quickly compiled all exterior signage. Some overlap with code requirements began to occur. These images are type that was hidden from view. These labels were all stickers underneath handles or pasted onto the side of door frames. I labeled these images stored type as all the products were stored away in a cupboard, hidden from view in a different way than the images we just looked at. After looking at the different styles of labels, I began to think of material. These images are type with texture, either raised or engraved. Next was type on a cylindrical surface. All of these labels contain some form of script, if not cursive. These images are all of packaging making the text feel more temporary than most of the other images we've looked at. It was all brought to the space by tenants of the building. These images were simple instructions, on off, words for heating food. At this point, I stopped to reflect and see if any of the relationships between the different images stood out to me. These images of exterior signs made me think of an obvious comparison between exterior and interior. I did something similar for my thesis site project where I overlaid photographs of interior objects onto photographs of exterior landscapes. Nothing groundbreaking here, but this idea of comparison between two groups felt like a way to begin to access these images. I chose these seemingly disparate images to compare. Both are visual reminders of rules or policies that should be followed within the office building. The materials used to make the signs and their permanence are different. The handwritten sign is seemingly temporary, easily made, one might say hastily written, and disposable. The plastic manufactured sign is intended to be more durable and can be used for longer periods. And in all honesty, it's probably been here since the 90s. The plastic sign is also more professional looking and standardized compared to the handwritten note. That is my work for this week. Though I am confident in how I've begun to compare the objects, I still have a lot to do concerning the visual aspect. That step, actually assembling the images, is most intimidating to me right now, so any ideas or suggestions of how to begin would be appreciated. Thank you.